What's up, NFL fans? Welcome back to the channel, Rebus Talk Sports. I am back again with my NFL spread pick predictions. If you're new to the channel, I create prediction videos every single Mondays and Friday, Moneyline Edition and Spread Pick Addictions. With this video, I will be giving you my Week 10 NFL spread pick predictions. First game, 9.30 in the morning in Germany, we have the New York Giants versus the Carolina Panthers. Right now, the line is at minus 6.5. Zero interest in this game, nor do I think anyone should be betting on this game. You have the two of the worst teams in the NFL going to Germany, neutral site. Don't know what's going to happen. Step away from this game. But if I were to decide between these two, give me the New York Giants minus six and a half. Buffalo Bills versus the Indianapolis Colts. Right now, the line is at minus four. Look, the Indianapolis Colts have been one of the hottest teams in terms of covering the spread. In their last seven games, they're six and one. Right now, at home, they're four and oh. At home, underdog, they're 2-0. They've been very phenomenal against the spread. And the Buffalo Bills, even though that they've had some great games, um, they're not covering the spread as well as the Colts have. Um, but the Buffalo Bills wide receiver room has been dismantled, is being hit with the injury bug. So I do expect the Bills to rely on the run game. And this is where I do think this is where the Bills cover this minus four and a half. The Colts have one of the worst run defenses in the NFL. Yes, I understand that Joe Flacco is probably starting again. But I expect Josh Allen and James, and James Cook to keep the ball on the ground, rely on the run game, and run all over this Colts defense. I feel comfortable with this Buffalo Bills minus four. So give me the Bills minus four. Minnesota Vikings versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. Right now, the line is at six and a half. I know earlier in the week, it was around four and a half, five, as low as three and a half, four. A lot of momentum going to the Minnesota Vikings side, which with reason, they're just the better team than the Jacksonville Jaguars. Don't feel comfortable with this minus six and a half. This is going to be a part of one of my teaser parlays that I have for this weekend. Give me the Minnesota Vikings minus six and a half, teasing down to three and a half. Little three point teaser. I feel comfortable with the Vikings being the Jaguars by four points than I do by a touchdown. The Jaguars have been a little sneaky recently. They kept it close with the Eagles. They covered the spread against the Green Bay Packers. So they've been very sneaky with backdooring and covering. So I feel comfortable with a three and a half than I do with a six and a half, just based how sneaky the Jaguars are at the end of the game. So give me the Vikings minus three and a half. Denver Broncos versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Right now, the line is at seven and a half. Earlier in the week, it was around nine, nine and a half. A lot of momentum going to Denver Broncos side. This is a nice divisional matchup between the Broncos versus the Kansas City Chiefs. The Kansas City Chiefs have been winning by a lot of their games by within a possession. The Broncos gave up 40 points to the Baltimore Ravens. The Chiefs are not going to do that. The Kansas City Chiefs offense isn't as explosive as the Baltimore Ravens. I do expect the Broncos to mitigate a lot of touchdowns in this game than they did against the Baltimore Ravens. I think this game comes within one possession. Give me the Denver Broncos plus seven and a half. This game gives me 24 to 20 or 20 to 17 kind of feel. I think this will be a very low scoring game. Both defenses will step up. I do think that the Chiefs will sweep away with the win, but I think the Broncos keep it close. This Chiefs isn't as explosive as the Ravens. I think this game will be close. Give me the Denver Broncos plus seven and a half. Atlanta Falcons versus the New Orleans Saints. Right now, it's at three and a half. Give me the Atlanta Falcons minus three and a half. They could definitely beat the Saints team by four. They just fired their head coach, which is up in the air if Chris Olave will play. He's been dealing with, I believe, his fifth concussion. He may not, Derek Carr may not have his best wide receiver in the game. The Saints team is just is just done for the season. After two straight wins, seven straight losses, and loss to the Panthers, I don't have faith in this team covering the spread. Give me the Atlanta Falcons minus three and a half in this divisional matchup. Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Washington Commanders. Right now is at three. Throughout the week has been teeter tottering between three, two and a half. Look, the Washington Commanders are four and zero at home. They're number one in the division. The Commanders are very hot. If you look at those four home games, three of them have were against subpar teams, and that fourth game that they won was against the Chicago Bears, in which the Commanders had that hill Mary touchdown. This is probably the best defense that the Commanders are going to face this whole entire season at home. I do expect the Steelers' defense to give this Commanders team some trouble. I think this game will be back and forth. Since 2022, the Pittsburgh Steelers have one of the most away underdog wins straight up and have been covering the spread as the away underdogs a lot within the past few years. Give me the Pittsburgh Steelers at plus three. I think they can keep it close. I think they can win. 
outright, but Steelers have a very great defense. It's probably the best team that the commanders are facing at home. This will be a close game. Give me the Steelers to cover with the three. 49ers versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers right now is at six and a half. It started around five. A lot of movement going to the 49ers with reason. The Buccaneers secondary isn't great. This Buccaneers team is very hard to trust without Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. I understand the Buccaneers kept it close against the Falcons, kept it close against the Kansas City Chiefs. They're pretty much keeping it close, but this 49ers team are going to have CMC back. This 49ers team needs to prove that they deserve to be one of the top contenders in the NFL. The Cardinals right now lead the division. I think the 49ers prove a point in this game that this is their division and that they should end the season on a hot streak. I think they take their frustrations out against the Buccaneers. Um, give me the 49ers minus six and a half. I think they should beat this Buccaneers team by at least a touchdown or more. Don't trust covering the spread with the Buccaneers team with a lot of things going on, but give me the 49ers minus six and a half. I think they beat this Buccaneers team by a touchdown and they should start proving a point now that CMC is coming back. New England Patriots versus the Chicago Bears. Right now, the line's at six. Give me the Chicago Bears minus six. I think this Bears team could beat the Patriots by at least two touchdowns. This Bears team has been on a nice winning streak at home, have been covering the spread, I believe, six or seven times in a row at home. This Bears team has yet to win on the road, but they're winning all their games at road. They're beating a lot of subpar teams. The Patriots go to the Soldier Field. Give me the Bears minus six. I do think that the Bears should cover the spread easily with the six, especially with their winning streak at home and them covering the spread. Give me the Bears to dismantle the, the New England Patriots. Tennessee Titans versus the LA Chargers. Right now, the spread is at seven and a half. I'm going to tease down and select the LA Chargers from a seven and a half down to a four and a half. So this will be parlay with the Vikings three and a half. So I do feel comfortable with the Chargers at minus four and a half than I do at seven and a half. I understand the Titans have been getting blown out by the Lions. They lost to the Bills. The Chargers are a nice quality playoff team, but you have to understand that the Titans defense is pretty much stout a little bit in certain metrics. Um, Yes, the Chargers are the better team, but I like choosing the, the Chargers at minus four and a half than almost eight. So give me the teaser parlay with the Chargers minus four and a half and Vikings minus three and a half. Philadelphia Eagles versus the Dallas Cowboys. Right now it's at seven and a half. The Eagles should clear this minus seven and a half. So I like the Eagles at minus seven and a half. If you think this is too high for a divisional matchup, a nice six point teaser parlay, you can get this down to minus one and a half. So a near straight up money line pick. Eagles minus one and a half. I do think that Saquon Barkley will run all over this Dallas Cowboys team. I think Barkley may have three touchdowns in this game. Have no faith in this Cowboys team. They're pretty bad this year. They aren't going to have Dak Prescott. They're looking like Cooper Rush will be at quarterback. But um, I think the 7.5 is a little too high for me. We don't know what's going to happen. The Eagles kept it close against the Browns. The Eagles kept it close against the Jaguars. And you have the Cowboys team that pretty much have nothing to lose. You just don't know what's going to happen in this game. But I think a little seven and a half, seven and a half is a little too high for me. So I'll do the six point teaser down to a minus one and a half parlay with a different game we have later on. New York Jets versus the Arizona Cardinals. Right now the line is at two. Round Monday, the Jets were at plus one. Now they are favored by two points. A lot of momentum is going to the Jets. This is some things that I'm trying to think about, right? Is it because that a lot of people feel like the Jets could go on the run? Is it because they look great against the Houston Texans? What's going on? Especially with the Cardinals, the last five games, they're 4-1. and one. They're on a three-game winning streak and have won two games at home in a row, and they're number one in their division, but yet they're the underdog. This is a little bit fishy to me. I'm going to pick the Arizona Cardinals at plus two. Um, if you're going to give me a team at plus two and they lead the division, um, winning streak, especially at home, I like the plus two. I think that the Cardinals can win this game outright, um, unless I'm missing something. But I think that the Cardinals are just a slightly better team. And I think they keep it close, especially potentially winning this game outright at home as underdogs. Give me the Cardinals plus two. Detroit Lions versus the Houston Texans. Give me the Detroit Lions minus three and a half. I think the Lions could probably win this game by 10 points. On the road, the Detroit Lions are undefeated against the spread, and they're winning with an average margin of victory of 14 points playing on the road. So they're pretty much being teams by two touchdowns as the away team. This is not good news for the Houston Texans team, especially now that they lost to the New York Jets. Yes, they do have Nico Combs coming in, but this Lions team is very hot, and they're going to keep – 
proving a statement that no one should mess with them in the NFC. Give me the Detroit Lions minus three and a half. I think they will beat this Texas team by a decent, probably by a touchdown. Last but not least, we have the Miami Dolphins versus the LA Rams. Starting off the week, the Dolphins were at a plus two and a half. Now it's down to plus one with an underdog odds of 100 straight up money line. Look, I understand that the Dolphins are on a losing streak. They lost two straight with Tua. But if you look at their last two games against the Cardinals and the Bills, they lost the game-winning field goals to teams number one in their division. It's very close, but no cigar for this Dolphins team. They're almost there. They're averaging 27 points per game with Tua coming back. And I think this Dolphins team is almost there. They have a chance to surpass the Jets to, from now to the end of the season for second place. Um, this LA Rams team are on a high. They defeated the Minnesota Vikings on Thursday night game. And they also defeated the Seattle Seahawks at Seattle in overtime. A lot of, a lot of high motivation is going to the Rams side. But I like to tease up the Miami Dolphins. Give me the Dolphins at plus seven. I'm taking the plus one, teasing up to plus seven, teasing with the Eagles. So I have the Dolphins plus seven, Eagles minus one and a half. This will be my second teaser parlay of the week. I do think that Dolphins keep this within a touchdown. I think they could potentially win. Um, this Dolphins team has Tyreek Hill. They have two under center. They have Waddle. They have A-Chan going against this Rams defense, which, yes, they've looked hot the past few weeks, but there are some suspicions against their pass defense and run game. But I think this would be a very close game with the potential of the Dolphins winning outright. But I like the Dolphins at plus seven tees with the Eagles. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the content, please give the video a thumbs up and comment below on your Week 10 NFL picks. Thank you so much and catch you guys next week.